Hi, and welcome back to another FSD 8.2 test video. Today, we are at the Apple headquarters, more specifically the Apple spaceship, and we're gonna be going to the Google headquarters or the Googleplex address. So we're gonna see how FSD 8.2 does. Right now, we are underground at the Apple headquarters in the parking lot. So we're first gonna see how the car gets us out from underground to the street, and then we'll see some freeways, and then we'll get off the freeway, and we'll see how it does get us to Google. So let's go. All right, so the car is on. Oh, wow. Oh, no. That's just... actually very interesting. The car wants to go left here because the navigation actually shows to go left here, but that's for the navigation above us. We're actually underground in a parking garage. So we're actually gonna reset and we'll see how that does again. So this time we're gonna bypass this little area where we can turn left. And we're gonna activate full self-driving. Now we're underground and I don't think it really knows where we are. And yeah, it doesn't, it again, believes that we're above the ground. That's a very interesting thing. It sees the cones though. Um, it wasn't gonna have us hit anything. Let's uh, loop around and see what happens one more time. Now turn right onto Prune Ridge Avenue. Now turn right onto North Tanta Avenue. Oh, third time's the charm, I guess. All right, so it pulled us up above the garage, but I'll back up just so you can see it a little bit. Um, there is a cone right here. It obviously went around the cone. Nothing wrong with that, but we actually need to go to the right of it because this is a, this usually isn't here, I assume, but we actually have to take the right way. So now we'll see what happens once we're up here. Or actually, let's start it on the actual ramp itself. Let's see what happens. Yeah, let's see how it does that. I, I want to see it do those cones again. All right, I have it set to five because that's actually what I would go around these cones. So we're just going to creep yep. up a little slow. Don't want anything bad to happen. In 500 feet, well, actually, I took over, but it could. It would have made that. Now we're above the ground, not in the parking garage. So let's see how the car does get us to Google from the Apple headquarters. Let's go. So we are still in the Apple parking lot. So we'll see how it drives through the parking lot. Those were the turn. Yeah, it says turn right. It's stopping. Made the turn just great. And here's a stop sign with traffic coming from our left. Let's see how it does. It says it's creeping forward for visibility. And there it goes. Sweet. We have plenty of time to make it to this yellow, so I was actually, actually that's pretty cool that it didn't slow down. Yeah. Just let us I, just go right through. I kind of expected it to speed up, but we got through just fine. Yeah. All right, so the light turned green. Looks like we do have the right of way. The car does a really good job putting us in the right lane, correct lane. All right, the light is pretty blinding, but even then so, it did put us in the right left-hand turn lane because we have to turn right, I believe, onto the freeway. Be careful, I drive so fast. All right, so the light turned green. The Tesla actually doesn't see that turn green. There's a very big glare, so it did not see the green. So I had to, ended up taking over and going around, doing the maneuver myself, I should say. We are blinded by the sun again, can barely see, but the car's doing a really good, magnificent job so far. We're accelerating on the freeway. You can see it's still full self-driving, and right there, as soon as we're merging on, it changes to autopilot. 
So for those of you that are curious how FSD beta works in parallel with autopilot on the freeways, that's what happens. You have FSD beta on the on the cities and on the on ramps. Sorry, it looks like it maybe actually um, slowed down a little bit there because we were blinded by the light. The sun is very atrocious on this freeway at this time of day. But as I was saying, yeah, it changes the autopilot the second you're on the freeway, but the off ramps are still FSD beta now. We're getting off of 280 and getting on to Highway 85. Let's see how it does this interchange. It said confirm lane change away from Cones for a second. Yeah, that was interesting. There we are, change lanes. We're on Highway 85. We have a merge right here. This person's coming over. We're slowing down just a little bit. Land them over. Alright, we're gonna change lanes into the fast lane. I'm just gonna go all the way across the free lane. Yeah, auto lane changed across all lanes pretty well. So there is someone behind us going a little faster, so I'm gonna hit the gear stock. So we do change lanes. See how this does. We're in a turn, changing lanes. I did it very, very smoothly. So the exit we're taking is Shoreline Boulevard, which is right here. Now this car is coming a little bit in our lane. Costa did see that. Oh yeah, so we're on an on ramp or slash off ramp or not gonna have to stay in the catch. Alright, so it's naturally slowing down to 50, now 45, now 40, 35. It's kind of nice that it naturally slowed it down. Right, it says no right on red. Oh, when the light turns green. I guess we don't gotta find out how it would have done there. Um, right there it's a apply steering, apply force to steering wheel. I don't know why, because I was holding the wheel. So when I applied the force, it disengaged. So this, this regard that that's a human error right there. So here you can see Google's new amphitheater over here on the left. Um, we put the directions in to add a couple more turns, but no matter what address we seem to input for Google, it always seems to want to put us all the way down here in a straight line. So we're going to readjust and give you back a little bit more content of some more turns. Yeah, so right now, this is going to be a really odd test. We're parked really far over on the right, actually parked, but right up there is a little gap we have to make a U-turn at. Um, let's see. Right yeah, you can see right here. We have to make a U-turn. Let's see how the car does. Yeah, really good it, job. It, wow. it worked. Yeah. Interesting line, but it worked just fine. Yeah, agreed. Now we got a blinded light and a red light up here, so let's see how it does. It recognizes that the light's red. It does, and it stopped us in the proper lane. As you can see, we're in the light rent lane. Okay. Light turns green. It detected it this time with the blinding light. We have some cars right here, but it sees them, gets us in the right lane. There's two lanes here as well. So these lights actually are just out. Like they're actually adding them and this is not actually a red light yet. So let's see how this handles. So it's stopping for traffic control and it just treated it like a stop sign. Yeah, that's what it's supposed to if, it, if the light's out. Yeah. So we need to turn left right here. Here is the actual Google headquarters. Let's see what happens. A 
very yeah, softly is pulling us in, which I appreciate. I didn't want it to scratch my bumper, so that was nice. And here we are, we're at Google. We've arrived at our destination. Well, thank you so much for tuning in to another FSD 8.2 video. Um, we No one knows when Beta 9 will be out. It could be next week, two weeks, three weeks, a month. But as soon as Beta 9 drops, I will make sure to put a video out that same day. So make sure to hit that subscribe button, like this video, so that way you don't miss out on any future content. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.